Hi guys, this is Avril Kefrenet, your favorite French Canadian. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to improve your performance or FPS in the new Planet Coaster game. Uh, in the second part of the video, you will see the game setting inside of the game, what you need to change and like how to optimize your game. But first of all, I want to show you where is the config file for the game. Uh, you need to go in your user, app data, local, frontier developments, Planet Coaster config file. After that, you go to your graphic and even game local. First of all here, I think you can upscale or downscale uh, the resolution of your game. I saw a nice improvement for the downscaling. I have some problem with the upscaling, so to, it will depend on your video card, I think, uh, because uh, I did some tests on the NVIDIA one, it worked, but I had some crashes on my AMD, so I'm not sure what's happening right now. But uh, yeah, you can downscale the game, the resolution of the game over there. Also, here is your configuration inside of the game. So um, if you want to modify in the uh, config file, like uh, you probably have all the same option, but sometimes you can't like uh, change stuff. For example, um, resolution of uh, the shadows, um, what can you do? Resolution of cascade, all those stuff. It's, um, it's you can like modify the way you want it because if you look, go inside of the game, you can do high, uh, ultra, high, medium, or low, and you can do off too. But here you can tweak the resolution to get like to maximize your FPS the best that you can. So um, I will let you um, look at my second part of my video. I'm explaining why shadows are important in this game and why you should lower it to get more FPS. So let's first of see. all, I had a problem with the game with the borderless resolution, and one of my friend had the same problem. It was on seven uh, seven hundred twenty p, uh, and it was like default borderless. So if you want to have like full full HD on this game and play borderless, go to full screen, apply, go back to borderless, apply, and you will have your proper resolution. Okay. So I will show you how you can improve your FPS in this game without decreasing too much the visual quality of the game. First of all, this one is important. The multi-sample quality, it's the AA, so the anti-aliasing. Uh, lower it a little bit if you want to gain your FPS, but not too much because anti-aliasing is really important for uh, the visual quality. Uh, the 4X one, do the job depending on your video card, but for each bracket you can gain 4 to 5 FPS. So just test it and make sure that you update your uh, to the latest driver. I saw um, a better improvement on the NVIDIA than the AMD card. So for A8, do your test. Really important here, shadows and water quality. This one you can gain a lot of FPS, it's crazy. If you put your shadows at off, you can gain straight up 13 FPS. For me, shadows is not something really important uh, for the graphic quality. And uh, because you have a lot of different coaster, a lot of people who's like walking during your park, the game needs to render all the shadows for that. So the key here, just test first of all your shadow at off or maybe low, and you will see a big chunk of FPS. And if you don't have your 60 FPS, uh, you will need to test other thing. Second thing, water quality, same thing. All the water quality uh, and some kind of reflection on it. Uh, this one too, you can gain a three to four fps for each bracket very important so test this one also 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 da, da, da. sorry i'm just looking at the dynamic yeah and this one dynamic environment map uh this one put it at off on uh, some old computer integrated card and uh even um laptop like you you have like a mobile video card but not that great uh, this one you will see a nice increase uh, if you have a um, like a gpu like for an example a 960 970 you will not see a big difference you will gain maybe two to three fps but if you have like old computer uh, you can gain five to six fps for this one really important so uh, test that and the last one background atmospheric and for run atmospheric Test medium for both. Uh, normally, you can get three to four FPS at medium. Really important too, so you will uh, have your FPS that you need. Because Planet Coaster, it's not like a, a first-person shooter. You don't need like 120 FPS. So for me, I'm right now I'm at 
50 to 60 depending uh, on uh, how much people that I have in my uh, my uh, my park but when I'm at 50 or 55 I have a lot of action in the park so it's pretty nice uh, probably they will uh, release some patch to optimize a little bit better like, the game but right now the game is running smoothly you just need like a strong uh, CPU and GPU so yeah guys that's about it. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, even your RAM. And I will try to uh, to help you uh, the best that I can. So that's about it. And don't forget to follow, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.